Hi, this is Brittany from Devise and Conquer Coaching, and I'm here today to talk to you about speeding up your device. These are my top tips for speeding up your phone if it's not quite time to replace it. Delete apps you're not using. I have another video linked below for more information about that. Keep storage space free. Maybe it's time for a new battery. And the nuclear option, a factory restore. Keeping the storage space free. I know this sounds tough, but ideally 15 to 20% of your phone should be free space. If you have a much bigger phone, say the 512, then you don't have to be quite so restrictive. You can be a lot closer to 10%. Let's take a quick look at the storage. We're gonna go into settings, general, and iPhone storage, or iPad in this case. And after a moment, it's gonna tell us how much space. Up at the top, you can see how much is free. I have a rather large iPad, so that's quite a bit. You have the option to offload apps. That's a good idea if they're ones you're gonna wanna use at some point or to have them restore their state. Say your Audible account is huge and you have downloaded books, but you don't have to remember which ones to download. You could just offload it and then it should restore. Or you can go down and delete some of them. These are going to be in order of how much space they're taking up on your device. So you can delete some as needed. There are a few other options, including going to photos. And this is if you have enough space on your iCloud storage, which is, you know, the cloud stuff, not what's locally on your device. And up here, you're gonna see optimize iPad storage. What that means is it's only gonna keep ones that it's decided are probably relevant locally stored on the device and access to my entire life library is going to be in the cloud. I have a particularly ridiculous amount of photos, so I'm always going to have this option on, even on my Mac. Another place to look at is how much music you have downloaded. Whether you're using Apple Music or your own library, you could end up downloading quite a few of them. I have a lot, not on this device, but on my phone, but that's on purpose. <laughs> I know where it is if I need to get rid of it. Other things to look for, audio, video, those are the main culprits. Looking at your video apps, have you downloaded maybe some Netflix content that you no longer have access to? Just delete it, or especially if you've already watched it. However, if you are still rocking one of the 16 or 32 gigabyte devices, it's gonna be really hard to have enough storage free. Those devices are really too small for most of our modern lives. There is one other culprit that people sometimes run into, and it's messages. There are a couple options for messages. You can review the large attachments and delete them. I can see there's a whole bunch of videos in mine. And alternatively, you could be using iCloud messages. But you do wanna make sure you have enough iCloud space and that you want to dedicate that time. For example, my friend Boods Cantrell loves to send me Star Wars gifts. It fills up a lot of my messages. I'm not really sure I want those all going to the cloud, so I'm personally not using iCloud storage for my messages because every time I want a new phone, I kinda wanna wipe those away. <laughs> Is it time for a new battery? When our batteries start getting older or they've just been through a certain number of charge cycles, they don't charge as efficiently as they used to. When the battery health gets low, our devices speed down in response. It's a way to prevent crashes and other things, but they also just don't work as efficiently anymore. You can actually look this up in battery health. You go to settings, and scroll down to battery. And there'll be a little part that says battery health. Look into your battery health. I showed this to a friend one time and he said, oh, it's fine, it's 85%. This isn't a test. At 80 is the part where Apple actually starts recommending that you get a battery replacement. Even in the mid 80s, 87%, 85%, you're gonna start seeing some slowdowns. When you get into the lower 80%, it, it's a very noticeable slowdown. If your battery is in the 80s, especially if it's in the low 80s, it might be time to head to Tashi Station to get some new power. Lastly, the nuclear option, a factory restore. This is only if your phone didn't respond to any of the other things and you absolutely can't replace it because it might really be time to replace the phone. To do a factory restore, first check your backups, make sure that you have a good backup of all of your important data. You can do this with iCloud, you can do it using iCloud for photos, and you can do it with select tools on your Mac. One of my favorite tools on the Mac is iMazing. I use it for lots of things, including complete backups, even encrypted backups. Don't use an encrypted backup if you want to pull out the information piecemeal. I've added a few other things on backup in the links below. 
If you've made sure your backup is good enough, it's time for a factory restore. There are two ways to do a factory restore. You can wipe everything and then restore it from a backup. You're not gonna replace quite as many things, but you also might be installing back on some of that other junk that's filling up space. To do a factory restore, we're gonna to go to settings. We're gonna go down to general and then down to reset. And there's a bunch of different options. Erase all contents and settings is the one. I am not going to actually do that on this demo, but I added some resources to my blog post that will walk you through the final steps. Definitely make sure you have a good backup if that's what you're doing. There might be some information you're leaving behind and definitely make sure that it's what you really need to be doing. Those are my top tips for speeding up your phone, deleting excess apps, keep enough storage space free, maybe get a new battery and eep, maybe a factory restore. Good luck and may the force be with you. Chewbacca thing because you could just go <laughs> do it. Uh.